This is a shooting range in the northwest of China. Today we are going to conduct a real combat shooting test. The sandbags and concrete walls beside me are the targets. We can imagine it as a strong fortress on the battlefield. This fortress is more than one meter thick with sand and cement walls. The only way to destroy it is to punch him through. At the same time, the launch position was in the direction I am pointing at. But it is too far away and I couldn't see it at all. What kind of weapon has a long range, high strike precision, and so much power, which can destroy this fortress? There is a very special railroad track in this place. We use a very special train, which is dragging a target. That is our moving target. We will conduct a moving to action shooting test. In other words, our shooting vehicle and our target are in a fast moving state. We have seen shooting tests like this in the past, but today we use a new method. We are testing missile firing. After many live ammunition tests, I am no longer a newbie in the initial stage of going to the target position to see the excitement. Today I will work with the staff at the shooting range to take care of the control of the moving target. They installed the app so they can control the target vehicle with their mobile phones. The gun carriage is a few kilometers away, which is the ZBD-04A or so-called Type 04A infantry fighting vehicle. If it weren't for the intercom, I wouldn't feel and could not see it at all. If on the battlefield, facing such a farthest opponent, so far away you can't find him, but he is aiming at you and preparing to shoot. This is simply a nightmare battle. Our target vehicle has started to move, and now the shooter can shoot at any time according to his aiming situation. I should be able to hear the muffled sound of the artillery when it is fired. It's ringing, here it comes. None of our scenes captured what happened. No one can confirm whether the target was hit or not. The hole at the top left of the cross is the hole that our cannon-fired missile pierced just now. Very accurate. Both the target and the infantry fighting vehicle were moving. The distance between them far exceeds the range of ordinary tank artillery. Only 
only when we looked at a replay of the high-speed camera on the target vehicle in slow motion frame by frame, we found that it had torn a hole near the center of the target. This weapon shaped like a dart is a so-called artillery-launched missile, independently developed by China. That is a missile fired by artillery. In fashionable words, this is a crossover attack weapon, which breaks the boundaries between artillery shells and missiles. In use, it can be fired with artillery like a cannonball. At the same time, it has its own engine to provide power like a missile. It has a smart brain to plan its flight path, and its flight direction is controlled by a complex rudder blades. More importantly, its striking accuracy is very high. After the artillery was launched, it changed from a shell to a missile. The operation is also very simple. As long as you can see the target, you can strike in a closed loop in real time. If you can see it, you can strike it. Is it really that simple? Try it myself, it might help me to understand. Of course, I am not a soldier and not allowed to play with real ammunition. There is a simulator here. This is a handle to move left and right, and then up down, the thumb of the right hand is the firing button we set. You have to keep this big V-shaped triangle arrow aimed at the target tank until it hits the target. If I were in a real tank, when I aimed at the target, the guidance device on the tank would send a laser beam to the target. The cannon-launched missile will fly into this laser beam after it is launched from the barrel, and then the sensor on the missile will perceive its position confined within this laser beam, and control yourself to fly as close as possible in the center of the beam. In the end, the missile hits a point wherever the laser beam is pointed at. This method of using lasers to guide the missiles has an official tech term, called laser beam guidance or beam riding, also known as line of sight beam riding. With such an ingenious design, I also dare to hit moving targets. The idea of using tank guns to launch missiles has been around since the 1960s. At that time, the caliber of tank guns became larger and larger, and the guns became more and more powerful. With the emergence of computer-controlled fire control systems, the accuracy of tank guns has been greatly improved. But such development has encountered a bottleneck. Even if the fire control system is added, the actual hit probability for conventional projectiles will decrease. The farther the distance, the more severe the drop in hit rate. As a result, the strengthening of the tank's firepower is limited. So the idea of letting the shells have the ability to correct their deviations came into being. China introduced such weapons in the early 1990s, and at the same time began the research and development of domestic artillery-launched missiles. Ji Yu Chong Guang, who is 76 years old this year, was one of the main staff responsible for the development of domestic artillery-launched missiles. He once participated in the development of anti-tank missiles such as China's Red Arrow 73. The development of artillery-launched missiles is not only a new field for him and his colleagues, but also a difficult task. Because the missile is launched by artillery, the most important challenge is that the missile has to withstand a large overload. The regular missile is launched with a barrel, and its overload is in dozens of G. But the cannon launch missile withstands an overload of more than 3,000 G in the gun barrel. Overload is a technical term. Simple understanding is used to express how much impact force the missile has to withstand when it is launched. Thousands of G are equivalent to the impact force on the missile at the moment of launch is equivalent to thousands of times its own weight. I feel my description may not be clear enough. Let's do an experiment to show you. 
there is one thing in our lives that I think is sort of comparable to the precision of missiles. That is the cell phone. It has a sensor that detects the attitude like a gyroscope, and it also has an optical lens on the camera. There are similar parts on this missile. Let's see if the mobile phone can withstand the powerful impact of a cannonball launch. Today we came to this high overloaded lab to verify. I will tape this phone on this test bench. This device will generate tens of thousands of G overloads. In other words, more than 10,000 mobile phones were pressed on this mobile phone in an instant. The results of this experiment may not be difficult for everyone to guess. But, let me show you how fragile this familiar electronic product can be under high overload conditions. The master hammer test is operated by the hammer handle. At high speed swing, the impact at stop could be huge. Is it true that the larger the angle, the greater the g-value of impact? Yes. Now we put a part of the artillery launched missile on the test bench. Although we can't see its internal structure, the precise optical lens really made me nervous. We should know that our experimental conditions are far worse than the environment on a battlefield. In this experiment, although the parts of the artillery launched missile are intact under such an impact, in the early stages of development, the researchers tried and failed again and again, and watched their products being hammered to pieces on the test bench. At that time, it was impossible for them to have the complete scientific research and experiment conditions like the developed countries. They built their labs by themselves and drew designs by hand. Gradually overcome a number of technical difficulties including launch overload. Mr. Ji-Yu said that because it was the scientific research stage, not only had to overcome difficulties, but also face danger at any time. Once when they were conducting a firing experiment, the shell was launched but it was not fired. The primer had been fired at that time, so the projectile was already in a relatively dangerous state. Only those of us who are scientific researchers must go up and get this missile back and to dissect it to see what the cause and the problem are. Finally found that the igniter was installed incorrectly. Mr. G.U. and the developers did not exaggerate the joy of the rest of their lives like others. Instead, they put more effort on improving the processes, including using more stringent means to ensure the quality of missile production. Now domestic artillery launched missiles have been successfully developed and delivered in batches on time. Finally, they don't have to rely on the native method to overcome the difficulties. Today, the missiles produced in such a dust-free clean workshop are of high quality, the missile is made up of many very precise parts. We are now at the assembly workshop of missile precision parts. Here we put on such anti-static electricity clothing. Because static electricity on my body is likely to cause damage to these delicate electronic devices. How fine are these parts? For example, this is a small metal ring, much like the rings we usually wear.
Our next step is to wind an alloy wire that is almost as thin as a hair strand on this small ring. This is a special alloy wire with a diameter of only 0.08 millimeters. It is thinner than hair. There are more than 200 laps to wind around the ring. It is used on a precision sensor for the missile. What is the next step? This step is a rough adjustment. Next we need to fine tune. Adjust the spacing of the coils. Is the spacing so important? Yes, because the spacing of the coil is directly related to the accuracy and linearity of the sensor. Therefore, it is required that the distance between two adjacent turns should be fixed at 0.4 millimeters. There are over 200 turns. So such operation process must be completed under the microscope. Right. No matter how delicate the work is, there must be strict quality standards to check. Zhou Jianmen, a fitter, has been working in this factory for nearly 40 years. He is good at making all kinds of rubrics. Today many components of missiles are made by large-scale factories with very high precision tools. This factory is specialized to massively produce the components using the latest high-precision digital control cutting tools. The production lines are fully automatic. If the spec of components exceeds the limit of machine's accuracy, manual process is needed. This is the big gauge Joe Jianman made. The technical term for this is called standard full profile. How to use this gauge? What are we going to test? It is used to measure the accuracy of coaxiality between several missile assemblies. Oh, is it to test how straight the missile is? Yes, sort of. We test if it can be put in and its full profile has to be able to close at the back. If so, it passed the test. The requirement of error for the full gauge is less than 0.01 mm in 1 meter long. For an analogy, if a vehicle travels a straight line for 1000 km, it cannot deviate by 1 meter from the start point to the end point. This is the same accuracy, I just explain it in a magnified manner through the analogy. Sticking to standards means sticking to responsibilities. Such slogans can be seen everywhere in the factory where he works. Responsible for national property, for the lives of soldiers, and for victory in battle. The domestic artillery launched missiles are intelligent and precise. But can it be invincible? Let's go back to the shooting range. Remember those mock fortifications at the beginning of our show? Our ultimate test is ready. But we didn't expect the weather to make it more difficult for us. There was moderate rain today. Everything in the distance is foggy. Wouldn't the missiles controlled by lasers be affected under such conditions? In rainy weather, can this missile still hit the target? Our missiles use direct fire laser chopper coating, and the impact on the weather is basically not relevant. So, in weather like fog, rain, and snow, you can still use this weapon system effectively. The rain is getting heavier and heavier. I am waiting for instructions from the launch site.
现在去看一下刚才，呃，重靶的靶标的情况。靶标应该是被炸塌了，就是原来有，大家可以对比一下啊，这个画面的右侧是没有被打击过的这个靶标，左边这个呢是已经被击中的靶标，这个高度上就掉掉了一半。后面的这个砖墙呢，就完全垮塌了。In addition to hitting vehicles and bunkers, artillery-launched missiles can also have a certain killing effect on air targets. Do we often call the gunship the tank killer in the treetops? Cannon-launched missiles allow the tank to counter-kill the killer. 新的拓荒已经启程了。